Those have been found in the Western Egyptian desert during the Second World War. And this prevented us from making use of this large piece of fat. And because desert is home, we introduced to you the Pradurim. We designed two controlling systems. First, an autonomous controlling system and a backup system, a teleoperate. In the autonomous controlling system, the circuit is a default mode to work automatically without any external control on it. The teleoperate circuit, the circuit allow manual control on the robot in case of the autonomous failure. We're using Arduino with the L298 sheep motors driver to control two motors in two directions. We will cover it by a reflective surface to protect it from the sunlight. The mapping system. The mapping system will receive the current location data from the navigation system. When the alter comes from the detection circuit, the mapping system will store the current position in the text files according to the kind of detected mine. When we connect the memory card to the laptop and run land mines map software, the software will get the data from the two text files, surface and buried, and show the position of the detected mines on the map and calculate the statics of the operation. The mechanical design. Our mechanical design is verifying the main engineering concept of being simple, reliable, and efficient. The robot's body is made of acrylic sheets. It has a density of 1.2 g per centimeter cubed, which allows the robot to move freely according to its light weight. The robot is moved by two DC motors mounted on the rear wheels, each of 7 volts. The motors are put in wooden boxes to totally isolate them from the surrounding, to prevent anything from affecting its performance. Wheels are made of hard rubber material which provide weight and power reduction. The wheel is designed to prevent the sand from preventing the wheel from moving under any circumstances. The materials used in making the wheel are rubber sheets and artillon. Artillon is well known for its very low thermal conductivity as well as rubber. And the artillon is found between the axe of the motor and the rubber to transfer full power from the motors to the wheel and prevent slipping. Our navigation system consists of an encoder to measure the distance and a digital compass to measure the orientation. Those devices are used to determine the current location of the robot. The encoder will be attached in an external wheel to avoid wrong distance calculations. For more accurate results, you are searching for determination of the current location of the robot by using XB modules. Due to the big area of the field, we can't use the common communication systems like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi due to their short range. So we search it for the long range systems and we find that the radio frequency system is the best communication system for this kind of fields.